Watch out for those sand sharks. Today on our lounge, how much skin is too much skin? You better cover up around this mom. She's out for blood and your stuff. Up first, babysitting blues, a teenager who's aged out. Am I the a-hole for not wanting to watch 16 kids? A repost of my post. So I, 17 female, went to my little cousin's birthday, eight female, and had a nice time. She was wanting to have a sleepover with all of my younger cousins, all under the age of 11, and like four of her friends. The thing is that equaled to about 16 little kids, so I wasn't planning to spend the night, neither were my other cousins, 12 to 14. We were going to go back to my house and watch scary movies so Poppy could have the birthday of her dreams. But about an hour into the birthday, all the little kids came up to me and asked if I could spend the night too. I told them no because I already had plans, but they kept on pushing. Then some of the parents asked, and I told them the same thing. But then one of my cousins, Kay, Poppy's stepsister, came up to me and asked me to spend the night. I asked why. She told me because her mom and all the other parents were wanting to go and hang out at the creek. I've had some issues with her mom because I used to live with them and Poppy's parents used to dump their kids on me and run off for hours doing God knows what. Let's just say I moved out sooner than they wanted me to. I decided to leave because that cat was out of the bag. I said goodbye, gave everyone hugs, then left with my other cousins. No one even complained. The whole car ride, my phone was blowing up and when I got home I checked to see if it was Poppy's and Kay's mom, Kelly, sending me voice memos screaming at me and angry texts. I ignored them and just turned off any notification from her. But then all of my aunts and uncles started to call me. I answered my uncle, Chris, Poppy's dad, and he said how I bailed on the kids and now him and Kelly do not have a date night with all of our family. I asked him what he meant and he said that Kelly said I would watch the kids so everyone could have fun. I told him I never said that and he just hung up on me. I didn't even say anything about me spending the night with them. I said quite the opposite all afternoon. Chris had even asked me if I was spending the night and I told him no as well. Me and the rest of my cousins had a good night and all, but I was rudely awoken the next morning with ice cold water on my face. It was my aunt Dawn and Uncle Heath standing over me angry. I got up and just got changed before I was yelled at for hours by not only them, but the rest of my family were coming over to yell at me as well. I didn't snap or yell or cry or giggle at the situation because it was so effing stupid. Then, when I finally got a chance to talk, I told them that if they wanted me to watch their kids, each of them could have put a $10 bill in my hand for each kid, and I would have done it, because I've been taking care of their kids since I was 10, and I was not about to watch 15 kids with no help and no money, because they were not even mine to take care of. I then sat back and looked at all their shocked faces, and then all of them yelled at me, saying that they are family, and it would be stupid for me to watch them for money. I now feel bad because family means so much to me and everyone, but I don't think it was wrong of me to ask for money to watch 16 kids. I just don't know what to do. I think I'll apologize to them, but I need a second opinion. So am I the a-hole? Sorry, I'm dyslexic if there are any typos. I think the situation has some serious miscommunication. If they wanted you to watch the kids properly, they should have sufficiently communicated that with you and possibly had offered compensation like you had said. You're 17. You're old enough to have plans of your own. I don't think you're in the wrong for not wanting to watch 16 kids. More importantly, that's a lot of little kids to be watching on your own and not enough eyes to be paying attention to anything that might be going wrong. Update. One of my aunts, hi Dawn, got sent this post to her, and as you guessed it, I'm in deeper crap. But when she came to my sister's apartment, I'm living here for now, been here for like five months. I let her in, called my mom, and handed her the phone. She got a speech about how none of them had a right to talk to me like that, and she is driving back home right now, and we are going to have a family meeting, again, because of their treatment towards me. Dawn left and texted me later about how she wishes that I would have went to her before going online. Then said she loved me and dumping water on me was just a joke. I just sent a thumbs up. My sister and mom are proud of me. My uncle Chris had called me a few minutes ago and said he was sorry. I said okay and he cried to me for about a minute about how I'm like a daughter to him and Kelly. I told him that if he would have really heard me for five minutes then he would have known. I hung up. I'm heartbroken. Chris was and is still my favorite uncle. He took me in when almost everyone was against me. But these past few years, he has just stopped caring. But my mom is on her way down here and I haven't seen her in two weeks. So I'm pretty excited. Not for the reasons I want, but these are the reasons I get. Update. It's been hours since our family meeting. The only argument the rest of my family had was that I posted about our family drama on a public website. 
I gave them the reasons and why I did so. I got told to take this post down or I would no longer be able to see my cousins, but I told them that they will need me one day because I watch their kids for free. By the end of it, we were all in tears. Most of my aunts and uncles were crying. My grandma, mom, and sister were yelling at them, saying I hold this family together. I don't agree, but it still brought everyone to tears. But then, Kelly started to yell at me, told me to take the post down, told me that everybody is threatening her, our family, and the posts and comments. I told her that they are giving me suggestions I won't follow, especially calling a social worker because I don't think they meant to maliciously pour water over my face. They just wanted to wake me up. I feel very bad for causing my family pain, but at the same time, I needed help. I just wanted somebody to help me understand that I wasn't crazy and that this is wrong. Anyways, I apologize for posting our family on the internet, and they apologized asking me if I could watch their kids soon for $20 an hour. I told them I'd be happy to. I think they didn't want to be wrong towards a 17-year-old girl. My mom is the oldest. Telling my aunts and uncles that if they don't want me to disown them when I'm older, then they need to start treating me with some freaking respect. Anyway, thank you all for your support. Love y'all. Now let's check in with the community for some of those comments. Jclom0 says, I'm always amazed when people say family means so much to me when their family are just such a-holes. I think they've indoctrinated you. Truly, stop and think about what actual value they bring to you. Also, absolutely not the a-hole. If they'd had the common courtesy to ask you in advance, they might have got what they wanted before you made other plans. Next opinion from Feisty Business 8311. Wait a minute, wait a minute, back up. In addition to getting verbally abused by your family over the situation, you also have an aunt and uncle who drove to your home to wake you up by throwing cold water on you for your refusal to babysit? Oh, hell no. Are your parents in the picture? In the meantime, think about your future. What are you doing next year after you graduate from high school? Trade school? College? Make a plan to educate and better yourself one way or another and get the hell out of there. Your family includes very toxic people and you deserve much better. Good luck. Nikita Akashia says, Why do you still care about these people? Your entire family is a bunch of a-holes. They don't give a crap about your well-being or your needs. They just want to use you. When you go to university, put as much distance between yourself and these a-holes as possible. Go overseas. Come to Germany or the Netherlands and then stay there. You can still see your cousins, but they can't abuse you when there is an ocean between you and them. Maybe have your older cousins move too when the time comes. Just make sure that you are far away and that they can never use you for free child care. You need to stop putting so much value on family. Family is who you choose to be your family, not relatives who only care about using you. Get out as soon as possible. You need distance from these abusers. And don't apologize. You're not in the wrong. They are. They have always been wrong. I think there's a valid comment about family meaning so much to you, and yet your family tried to force you into watching more kids than you can handle. Ultimately, setting you up for failure. Your uncle doesn't show much support as he used to, and the whole water in the face situation. I mean, this is just a tiny glimpse into your life, but it's never okay for an adult to throw water into a minor's face, or anyone's face for that matter. Not only is it incredibly disrespectful, it's also abusive. I think your family needs to hear more of the word no, and you should be creating more established boundaries. What do you think? Next up, get out of the water. Your stuff is being stolen. Entitled parents moved my stuff at the beach, got ticketed for theft. Hello all. Story that happened to me yesterday. I'm on vacation at a touristy beach spot. Went out mid-morning to the beach before the crowds and set up my towel, umbrella, chair, cooler, etc. Around 11 a.m., while laying on my towel, tanning with headphones in, I get a tap on my shoulder. Open my eyes to a middle-aged woman standing over me and her family and young kids starting to set up multiple umbrellas, chairs, toys, about 10 feet behind me. When I took my headphones out, the woman proceeds to tell me that my bathing suit is inappropriate to be around her children, and so I will need to move. Note, bathing suit is a cheeky bikini bottom, but not a thong. I tell her I was there first, they can find somewhere else to set up if it offends her. She proceeds to say there's no other close spots to the water. I tell her I'm not moving and put headphones back in. About an hour later, I decide to hop in the water for a dip to cool off. While in the water, I look at the shoreline and the woman has packed up my stuff with her husband and is carrying it away from the area. I hop out of the water and get a lifeguard to call beach security while I watch them walking my stuff up the beach to relocate it. Beach security and myself approach them. They try to play dumb and say it's their stuff, so they are asked to open the wallet to show ID. Surprise, it's my ID. Cops are then called, and I chose to press charges for theft. 
and I got my spot back since the family was escorted and kicked off the beach. Let's see what the community has to say about this one. Momo222811 says, You are my hero. 1. Being able to wear a cheeky bikini. 2. Standing up for yourself. 3. Making sure Miss Karen and company pay for stealing your stuff and your spot. I'm an early beachgoer too. Too old for a bikini. <laughs> I always try to set up just above the high water mark. Some loud family will almost always set themselves and enough equipment, including tents, to keep them for a week. The kids running, kicking sand at me and running over my stuff. I don't get angry. Just sit and wait. First, the kids leave snacks and bags open, and the gangster seagulls have a party. Then the tide comes in and washes their stuff away. I then have my view back. Have a great summer. Mama Lynn 1996 chimes in. I need to go to the beach with you now. You would stop my crap from getting stolen. I would even pay you. Edit. 315 upvotes? Y'all are so sweet. Let's all have a beach day together. The OP adds, huh, I'm so anal about stuff getting stolen that even when I'm in the water, I'm like always checking my stuff on the shoreline if no one is sitting there guarding it. Disaster Plan has this to say. She took her family to the beach and is worried about someone's bathing suit? That's not entitlement. That's like lying in the middle of the road and insisting people drive around you. Yeah, the comments speak some truth here. If you're going to the beach, there's going to be some skin shown. That's a fact. If you think that's too much for your children, don't take them to the beach. You have no right to be telling people what they can and can't wear, and you certainly don't have a right to be touching and moving other people's stuff. What would you have done? Do you have a similar story? Share it with us in the comments below. And thank you for joining us today on Our Lounge. Before you go, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you have something you want to say regarding today's content, share that too with us in the comments below.